got a few more stragglers. That's okay. Jen's chatting. Of course she is. Uh, welcome to the 2021 Galleon Arts Showcase. Um, yeah! Clap for that. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully you got the chance to peruse the art out in the lobby before you came in today. Um, if you don't, definitely check it out afterwards. Um, we definitely want to thank uh, Mrs. Reedy, Mr. Dickinson, and Mr. Ratvasky for uh, helping get that set up. Right? Um, they were in here early this morning making sure that all the art was uh, set up so that you could view that, and that was really cool. Um, and obviously the kids that made it. Uh, it's, there's some pretty incredible stuff out there. Be sure to check it out. Um, we've got a great concert for you this afternoon. Lots of performers. Um, hope you enjoy. We're getting started with 6th and 7th Choir.
All right, I hope you enjoyed the sixth and seventh grade choir. They've been awesome to work with this year. And while they head to your seats, please turn your attention to this side of the gym where we can see our seventh and eighth grade band. That is the quickest I have seen this group of students move ever. <laughs> um, usually it's like, hey, could you put away a stand? And they're like, ugh. Um, but cool. Hey, sitting in front of you is what I believe to be the wackiest group of middle school students um, in Ohio, maybe in the world. Um, <laughs> but uh, they are also artists. They're risk takers. Um, that's awesome. One thing that I really enjoy about this group is there are a lot of kids that are new this year that decided to join us and just to take a chance, right? And that can be scary. Some of these kids have been doing bands since fifth grade, and some of, our, some of them are eighth graders that decided, hey, I'm going to take the chance. I'm going to learn something new. And that's brave. So I hope you can hear that bravery in their performance today. Without further ado, the seventh and eighth grade band.
We've got two more tunes for you. One is a tune that uh, hopefully none of you have had to sing before, Report Card Blues. Um, and then next is Fanfare on a Theme of Imagination. So Report Card Blues and then Fanfare on a Theme of Imagination. Okay, so first off, I want to say Mr. Warcall didn't tell me we were introducing all of our children, so I love the 6th and 7th grade choir too, and they are amazing and risk takers, and I love them, and he did not let me know we were doing that. So, 
I love the 6th and 7th graders just as much as he loves the 7th and 8th graders. Now, as we have our 8th grade choir up here, and this choir has grown so much since the beginning of the semester. We started off liking one part, and now we have three going consistently. And I would like to point out that we have three students in here who joined us three weeks ago, two weeks ago. What was it? Not that long ago. And they are already fully caught up and have blended so well, and we hope you enjoy looking for the light. I'm so nervous. Oh my god. in the falling snow Helping us to know Something in the sky is brighter Something in my heart is lighter A flickering feeling Starting to ignite Looking for the light and shining Deep inside, where can it be? 
And now, guess what? We're going to the other side of the gym again. Enjoy!
the jazz band. That was awesome. Hey, can I have two people? Can I have two people push the piano? Emma, Courtney, can you help? Can you help me? Look, go right. Okay, so this is our concert choir. It's our high school treble choir. And they've been a lot of fun this year, too. Oh, this is not going to stay. There we go. Okay, so they've been a lot of fun this year, too. It's been really fun to have just sopranos and altos. It's been a great time. We have three soloists for you on this one. Uh, so this piece is called Homeward Bound. We hope you enjoy it. And oh, look at that. The piano is set up. Wonderful. Enjoy. Is that better? For the most part, we're going to go with it. Yeah, OK. Is it like how it was sitting? I don't know.
bigger ones. Yeah, I know. We have a few bigger ones. Hey, we're not wearing the hat. Thanks again for being here, everybody. Uh, a few announcements real quick. One is, uh, if you're a music parent, uh, I would like to cordially invite you to our music parent meetings. We have one this Wednesday at, where's Erica? Six o'clock, right? Six? This Wednesday at six. I'll be sending out a link in final forms uh, if you would like to attend that. Uh, those, par those meetings are great, right? It gets us all on the same page. Uh, make sure that uh, we know what's coming up. We've got a trip to Nashville this year, so we've been really working hard on fundraising for that. Um, so we would love to have a lot of you there for that meeting. Um, sitting in front of you is the high school concert band. Uh, it's been such a joy to work with them this year. Um, one of the things that we've been talking about and the conversation that we've been having over and over again is music that doesn't mean anything is noise, right? Um, so we've been talking about the pieces that we're playing and what it means to each individual, right? What does this piece mean to you? Why are we playing it, right? What are you trying to say with, uh, with your music? So I have a few students that will share before each piece, uh, talk a little bit about those conversations in uh, our class time together, and hopefully you can hear some of what they're saying in uh, the music that they perform for you today. So first up. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, so the first piece that we're going to be playing is Fanfare for the Third Planet. Um, as a band, we've discussed how that music felt to us, such as a comfort zone, going out of that comfort zone, playing something new, doing something new. We've also discussed how, mm, how it makes us feel like the chaos of the day solved. Basically just a timeline. I don't know what I'm talking about. We talked about the mystery, right? The mystery. So uh, going from the comfort zone out of the comfort zone. Can you exactly. Talk about that a little bit? So our comfort zone is stuff that we know how to do, stuff that we've already played. This is not our comfort zone. This is our first time performing it. So, yeah. Cool. <laughs> the comfort zone is where the piece starts, right? Exactly. And then where do we go? 
into the mystery. Yeah, the mystery. You got it. Cool. All right, let's go. guess I'm doing this right now. Um, so in our next piece, Frank to Kelly's Shenandoah, um, we have talked as a class about like what this piece means to us personally as fanfare. Um, to Kelly wrote that he was inspired by the freedom and beauty of the folk metal melody and the natural images evoked by the words, especially the image of a river. Like he later explains he wasn't concerned over the sound of the river, rather the timelessness it resembles. So um, we went over this as a group, like, daily. Um, we were reminded of the stillness of what is around us. Um, we take our lives for granted, and we never fully understand the detail in everything around us. It's important to acknowledge the true beauty in what is around us and what got us to where we are today. We invite you to join us in still stillness and reflection as we perform to Kelly Shenandoah.
Okay, hi. Uh, let's lighten the mood a little bit. Um, it's time for some Christmas music, um, since it's a Christmas, it's a Christmas concert. So our next song is called Christmas Festival, and it is by Leroy Anderson. Um, now, what you must understand about musicians is we work on Christmas songs for months beforehand, and like long before it is socially acceptable to sing Christmas songs. Um, but you know, it doesn't stop a lot of people, certainly not musicians. Um, so to entertain us and kind of get us into the Christmas spirit, Mr. Workall had us share some of our favorite Christmas memories. And there were a variety. You know, there were the nice, wholesome family ones. And then there were the ones that were interesting, like toppled Christmas trees and awkward family encounters and a surprisingly large amount of King's Hawaiian rolls. Um, however, one thing was consistent throughout all of these stories. Um, they all had some kind of um, family and friends in them. They all had a love of Christmas and the season that united them. And that is with this song and with this band. Um, the song goes through many different um, of the carols, of the different feelings of Christmas. But if you listen, you will hear the same hut and all of it. So this is a Christmas festival. Oh, and we have Santa hats.
Cool. Great to see you. <laughs>between the high school band and the symphonic choir so as they make their way over hello again this is the symphonic choir this is our mixed ensemble at the high school and they've also been so much fun to work with this year i know i'm saying that but it's my first year so everything's fun i like all of it um but anyway you will notice there are some students who are wearing just orange and some students who are wearing white and orange so this year i instituted a policy of section leaders in our choirs to get some more student leadership and the kids that you see in orange are my section leaders there's two per section so we have two sopranos, two altos, two tenors, and two basses. And these kids have been a lifesaver for me. They are so helpful. They help me run rehearsals. They help me check music. Uh, one of them is going to get the music ready for the alumni later today. So those particular students that you see have been awesome. But everybody has. And I hope you enjoy both Famine Song and then Believe from Polar Express. So hope you enjoy.
Thank you, thank you. Uh, all right, so at this time I would like to invite all of the choir students to join us up here. We are going to be singing Silent Night, and if you would like to sing in the audience, you are more than encouraged to. So please give me a minute while all of our students make their way up here. We only got to practice this today, so sorry. <laughs> short but I thought it was important that all students get a chance to sing with everybody so that was our one little piece middle through 12th grade and you all sounded wonderful too so if any of you are high schoolers in the audience and aren't in choir yet or middle schoolers hi it's fun you should join but anyway at this time I would like to invite any Galleon high school choir alumni up we are going to sing the alma mater and the hallelujah chorus and Chase is going to grab you some music so any Galleon high school choir alumni please come on up
All right, so to end out our concert, we have our symphonic choir, our concert choir, and our alma and our alma our alumni singing the alma mater. That's what I was gonna say. So I hope you enjoy it.
thank you so much. I want to give one last thank you to all of you for coming, for all of the administrators and staff and students that participated in this. And please, check out that art before you go. It's absolutely incredible. From everybody at the arts program, Galleon, we hope you have a wonderful start to your holiday season. Have a good one.